Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for about number 15 of the evening. This is three five-minute rounds in the professional welterweight division. Please welcome, first up, Kosti Panachuk. Gentlemen, Rob Mills. This is made for the K7 Vengeance, the 13th of October 2012, right here at Mainton Meadows Arena in the northeast of England. We are scheduled for three five minute rounds in the professional welterweight division at 77.1 kilograms. This bout brought to you by madeforthecage.co.uk with extreme nutrition. The very best in nutritional supplements and sports nutrition across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome first up your fighter in the blue corner. He has a mixed martial arts record of three wins, zero losses and zero draws. From Ministry of Martial Arts, ladies and gentlemen, he is Kosti Panachuk. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. He has a mixed martial arts record of seven wins, two losses, and zero draws. Representing Fight Pit, he is Rob Mills. Our referee for this bout, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Trevor Mitchell. Here we go, at Made for the Cage 7. We've got a professional welterweight matchup between Rob Mills of uh, the Fight Pit, local lad, taking on Kostel Paznucic, a uh, renowned kickboxer who stepped up on quite late notice to fight Mills up here in the northeast. Yeah, this one should be a cracker. When doing the research on uh, Paznucic, it's like the first thing that came up was a very impressive ISK professional kickboxing record. Rob Mills, he's, he's a renowned knockout artist, and he's, he can quite happily stand and bang with the best of them. Yeah, he's, Mills has a left up from hell and uh, he looks the more physically imposing man right now but with a resume in the, in the kickboxing world as Paznicis has got, you know, it should turn out to be quite a cracker of a fight. Yeah, definitely. 
could just the if fans like fireworks and this fight could deliver it. But like Mills, it's his first fight in uh, over a year. He last fought in uh, July of 2011 when he knocked out Kyle Redford. So uh, it's just good to see him back in the cage. Yeah, great to see him back. Always an exciting fighter, and he's uh, long been a Northeast favourite. I know he's been. He was originally matched up with uh, Andy Plimmer on this card. Uh, it was the second time Plimmer's actually pulled out of a fight with Mills, so Mills obviously not too happy about it. But he's got a fight in front of him right now, and yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah, I mean Mills, he's a he's a fighter's fighter. He'll fight, he'll fight anyone. He doesn't care with it. He just wants to go and pour on his show and knock someone out. And it looks like Pazniewicz is. Uh, all too happy to oblige the stand-up game is quite calculated so far yeah you can you can see all these kickboxing experience coming through this about how he handles himself and how he's able to get in and out of his range very quickly and effectively yeah and he's not he's not phased by uh, by the power of mills so far we've not seen too many big shots coming as just as i say that comes in the left hook nice leg kick there um, and he's not hiding any secrets, obviously the short's giving away his style, but Mills will have done his homework in the last few days, but he's had to uh, look up on his opponent. Yeah, and like, it's not it's not hard to find things out about him, I mean, when I googled his name earlier tonight, straight away, his uh, kickboxing credentials popped up with videos on YouTube, so Mills will have been able to get lots of research done. Yep, and uh, Mills found a home for his uh, textbook left up there. Yeah. Both guys have taken a couple of low shots so far. Yeah, luckily he uh, doesn't seem to work by it, but some all ground shots are nasty, but luckily there wasn't too much power behind it. Yeah, that one just came as uh, Mills lifted the leg, just came up from behind, if yeah. you will. Part of the game, but they resume both guys. Again, no one, no one shooting so far, both guys happy to just trade in this kickboxing style matchup. Nice left hook there from Pazmucic. Yeah, he's really fast when he lets those hands go. I'd like to see either guy really try and take control of this bout so far. It's uh, both guys just obviously gauging the distance so far and feeling the man out. No one's really gone for the kill as yet, but it's still early doors in this first round. Yeah, they both seem to be just trying to feel each other out first. But, uh, you can, you can tell like, how professional they are just because they, they'll both have the game plans and they're not going to do anything silly. But nice uh, port to cut from Mills there. Yeah, that snap has neutralised his head back there. Both guys will be very aware how dangerous the other man is, so it's uh, it's not too surprising that they're a little bit cagey and just feeling it out just to start with. Yeah, I mean, when you know someone's renowned for knockouts, you don't really want to take too many shots off them. No, nope. and Mills comes across the cage with a knee, and he's straight in with that takedown. Yeah, and he's looking there, to pa pa he's in half guard there, he's looking the pass, he's moved the mount. Yeah, straight into the mount, it's quite clear now that Mills is the, oh, is that the towel, the, the towel's, towel's come in. And, yeah, the referee Trevor Mitchell has called it, just as Pazucic got in a bad spot on the ground there, obviously his corner wanted nothing to do with the groundwork. Yeah. And uh, they've thrown in the towel. That will be now Mills wanted to win, but he's got the win. And uh, there he goes, he's broke up the ring rust. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it's obviously the corner's taking the decision to uh, stop it, but like, no one would have really wanted to fight then that way. Yeah, I mean, the fight himself doesn't just seem too phased by it. The corner, you know, they have a, a right smile that, that it's coming. He knew he was in a bad position, and uh, it was only going to go one way from there. It was quite clear, Pazlucic had no answers for Mills on the ground, and uh, there it was, and a few fights have just sealed the deal. Yeah. Always an exciting fight to watch. We hope to see Rob Mills back in the cage again soon, without such a long layoff. Yeah, and hopefully, uh, past few fights, Mills, he's always left with a broken hand, but luckily he doesn't seem to have broken anything there. Oh, but then again, he's just pointed, saying he could have done. <laughs> yeah, I think he spoke too soon there, Nathan. Yeah. Commentator's curse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for both our fighters this evening. Come on. This bout sponsored by Flight Splash, hot top for hire, ended in three minutes and 50 seconds of the second round. Due to the opponent's corner thrown in the towel, your winner in the red corner, Rob Mills! <laughs> Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Kosti Panachuk!
I just wanted to say thank you very much for everybody coming out. Thanks to Costa for taking the fight. He took it on three or four days' notice. I wanted to stand and punch with him, but I, I broke my hand. I felt my hand break when I hit him with one of them shots. So I thought, I can't fuck around here. I need to take him down. So I do apologise to those guys. I wanted to say a big stand at war. I did want to do it, but I couldn't punch with his hand properly. Thank you very much for your support, and thank you to the guys, and thanks to Bad Boy and everybody else. Thank you. Sorry I couldn't swing a bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Mills, come on!